Tell me we're friends. We're not friends. All right. Well, then tell me we're like uh, pseudo friends, like in that gray area between acquaintance and friends, where you know sometimes we share a laugh. Look, friends don't take ten percent. Now, is this why you came over here? No, but you might say we're friends after I tell you why I'm here. So why are you here? Your star continues to rise, and while you know I've brought you plenty of deals in the past, brace yourself for the big one. It's time to create your signature shoe. Oh! That, <laughs> are we friends now? Uh, no, but we're definitely moving in that right direction, man. Hey, that was super pumped. It's about time. So when we get started? Right now, man. Hey, what's going down, folks? It's your boy C23, and we are back on the sticks once again with another NBA 2K15 My Career episode. Well, technically, we're not back on the sticks. We're not doing any type of gameplay in this video. As you can see, this video is all about the creation of my own signature shoe, the Nike Air Flight 7. Now, I'm not going to really dive in and bore you guys with all the intricacies of the shoe. I'm just going to give you guys just a general overlook on what I did to create it and what type of look that I was going for. So if you were expecting to see a layer by layer tutorial video on the shoe, that's not happening. That's not going to go down in this video. Nobody has time for all that. So I'm going to just keep it simple. What we're doing here, as you can see, is a mid cut look. In my opinion, mid tops just look the best. Plus, if you look back over history at all the hottest shoes that came out, the majority of them I'd be willing to bet were mid tops. And I'm not referencing your classic Adidas shell top, low top kicks or anything like that. I'm talking about strictly basketball shoes. So that's why I decided to go with the mid look here, plus the way that DeMarcus Flight plays on the court. I mean, he might have to stop and cut on the dime, change directions, break somebody down. I figure the mid top will help with the ankle support so he doesn't mess around and sprain an ankle or roll it or something like that. Now, as far as the style and the shoe and the colorway goes, I'm not a fan of shoes that have a lot going on. And by a lot, I mean way too much going on in the shoe. You know, crazy colors and patterns that don't necessarily match the shoe like shoes that have an orange and lime green colorway going on, but might have a purple or pink outsole. Like what's that about? It's just way too much going for the shoe. So we're gonna stay away from all the crazy colors and pinks and neon green turquoises and all that. That's not gonna happen with the shoe. As you can see in the design, as it's finally starting to look like a shoe that I can work with, you can see that I went with the sleek and simple yet stylish and aggressive type of profile for the shoe. I decided to go with the mostly black and white color scheme but the yellow Nike flyaway overlay pattern really gives the shoe a carbon fiber effect that kind of makes it pop. Plus, it really gives it that aggressive design that I was going for. Now, a lot of you guys out there might be wondering, C23, why do you have a white toe on an all black shoe? And my answer to that would be it's all about style. That's what stylistically separates the shoe from every other shoe out there on the market. With the exception of the question by Reebok, I don't believe there's ever been any other shoe out there that just had a separate color for the toe. I know I could be wrong, but right now there's no other shoe coming to mind. So that's why I did that. It's really going to help the shoe stand out, give it a little bit of extra flair, as well as as far as customizing it goes in the future, I can come up with so many different color patterns just using the toe alone. It's going to be crazy. Now, moving on, you guys may have already noticed that the shoe has a ton of brand placement. And to some of you guys, it may seem a little bit like overkill. But personally, I like it. I like the way it turned out. I used five different Nike logos on the shoe. There are two huge Nike logos located on the inside and outside. There's a really small logo located on the front bottom of the shoe, I guess. You can't really see it because I blacked it out to match with the colorway of the shoe. There's also a gold metallic Nike logo located on the tongue. And then there's the N-I-K-E spelled out on the back of the shoe. Now, there's one other thing that I forgot to mention before I get out of here, and that's the sole of the shoe. I decided to make the sole of the shoe white simply because the rest of the shoe is black. It really kills me when shoe companies decide to make the entire shoe one color. Whenever they do that, it always reminds me of Timberland work boots, how they're all that nasty mustard yellow type of color. Why do companies do that? In my opinion, shoes always look nicer when the sole of the shoe is a completely different color from the rest of the shoe. Whether it be gray on black or black on white or white on red, I mean, whatever. The sole has to be a different color. And I don't mean to rant to you guys or anything like that, but it really eats me alive for the life of me. I don't understand why shoe companies do that. But anyway, folks, as you can see, the shoe is pretty much done. I really hope you guys like it. And if you don't, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do about that, but this is the design I came up with. It took me about 45 minutes to play around with all the different designs and patterns to finally come up with this. And I'm pretty happy with the result. If these were a real pair of shoes, I'd probably pick up a pair. I definitely like the way they turned out. 
But anyways, folks, that's just about all the time that I have in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you do what you do. You know, you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff that you guys do. I'm signing off in this one. And I'll see you in the next one real soon.